Μεταδώστε την είδηση, όχι τον ιό. Spread the news, not the virus. Το Solidarity Now, η ύπατη αρμοστία του ΟΗΕ για τους πρόσφυγες και το pod.gr ενώνουν τις δυνάμεις τους σε podcast για να σε βοηθήσουν. Άκου από πού και πώς μπορείς να λάβεις βοήθεια αν αντιμετωπίζεις βία η συμπεριφορά στα αγγλικά. Spread the news, not the virus. Solidarity Now, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and pod.gr join their forces to support you through a series of podcasts. Listen to where and how you can get help if you are experiencing violent behavior in English. Spread the news, not the virus. In the fight to reduce the transmission of the new coronavirus, we are all one team. We stay informed, we take precautions, we stay safe, and we protect those around us. Protect yourself from violence. You have the right to feel safe. Do you feel safe? Do you feel safe in the space you are staying? On the street? In the camp? In an apartment? Is someone trying to harm you or has harmed you already? Is someone forcing you to do something you do not want? Is someone forcing you to stay at home and is not allowing you to leave? Do you feel sad by the way others are treating you? If you answered yes to one of these questions, you may be experiencing some form of violence. There are different types of violence. There is physical violence when someone hurts you physically. There is sexual violence when someone attacks or forces you sexually. There is economic violence when someone does not give you money for basic things like food. There is social violence when a child is prevented from attending school or an adult is prevented from working. There is psychological violence when someone insults you, treats you badly, or humiliates you. There is violence from people who are close to you and violence through the internet. For example, when someone threatens that they will publish pictures of you. Anyone can experience violence. Women, men, girls, boys, and LGBTQI persons. They might experience it once in their lives or every day. It is the same. It is important. It is violence. It might come from a spouse, a relative of yours, from someone you do not know personally, or from someone in power. Violence can cause depression, physical injuries, harmful use of drugs and alcohol, sexually transmitted infections, unintended pregnancy and abortions, and death. If you have experienced sexual violence, go to a hospital or medical clinic as soon as possible to make sure you get the medical support you might need. Inform the Infectious Disease Department of the hospital that you have experienced sexual violence and if needed, get post-exposure prophylaxis or PEP treatment within 72 hours or three days from the incident. PEP is an emergency treatment available to survivors of rape, which helps avoid getting a sexually transmitted disease, such as HIV AIDS or unwanted pregnancy. PEP should be available to all survivors of sexual violence, whether you have health coverage or not. Violence can happen to anyone, to people who are smart, to people who are strong, everyone can be affected. It is never your fault. It is always the fault of the person committing the violence. Remember, there is always a way out, no matter how bad the situation seems. You do not need to suffer to be in pain or to be scared. Protect yourself and your children, if you have any. If you need help or support to free yourself from violence, you can ask the authorities, your local municipality, police, or the counseling centers of the General Secretariat of Family Planning and Gender equality or different organizations such as the Otima. Whatever has happened, there is nothing to be ashamed of. You have not done anything wrong and no one will judge you. If you need help urgently and you do not know who to address, call the police at 100. If you cannot speak, send the police an SMS. 
In the SMS, include your name and your surname, address and type of emergency, for example, my life is in danger. If you do not speak Greek or English, use an application for translation or approach an interpreter you would, would trust. In case of domestic violence, which is violence between husband and wife or between partners, it is important to know that the Hellenic police has a special unit to help women. There are also other specialized units of the police for certain types of violence, such as the anti-trafficking department, which are available to support everyone that needs it. You can reach the police by calling the number 100, 100. If you have experienced violence and need help or someone to speak to you and you are living in Athens, Thessaloniki, Lesbos and Samos, you can contact the organization Diotima at their help desk on Facebook, which you find with the name at D-I-O-T-I-M-A-H-E-L-P-D-E-S-K or Call them at the following numbers for Athens from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can call this number 210-8816-405 for Thessaloniki from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can call this number 2310-5345. For Lesbos, from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m., you can call this number 2251024730. For Samos, from 9.30 a.m. until 5.30 p.m., you can call this number 2273089. All locations that were just listed also provide services through WhatsApp or Viber and once you call, the WhatsApp and Viber phone numbers will be provided to you. Diotima services are available in Arabic, Farsi, French, Sorani and Turkish, depending on the location. If you are living in a camp, you can speak to the person in charge of the camp or to a doctor or a nurse from the medical actors working in the camp. If you are living somewhere else and you do not know who to address, you can call the SOS helpline of the General Secretariat of Family Planning and Gender Equality at 15900. If you are under 18 and you need help or someone to speak to, you can call the organization Smiled of the Child at 1056. Everything you say to the authorities, to the person in charge of the camp, to a doctor or a nurse or to the professionals or organizations is confidential according to the Greek law and cannot be repeated without your consent. They will inform you about your choices according to the Greek law and will ask you what you want to do and will support your choice. You choose the way forward. You make the decisions. Wherever you are, remember you are not alone and there is always a way out. Do not wait. You have waited enough. We will not let fear win. Stay safe. Ήταν το Frequently Asked Questions for Migrants. Ένα podcast του Solidarity Now σε συνεργασία με την Ήπατη Αρμοστία του ΟΗΕ και το pod.gr που δίνει χρήσιμες πληροφορίες σε πρόσφυγες και μετανάστες που ζουν στη χώρα μας. Βρείτε το podcast στην ιστοσελίδα του Solidarity Now στο pod.gr, στην ιστοσελίδα της Ήπατης Αρμοστίας help.unhcr.org, Spotify, Apple Podcast ή όπου ακούς podcast από το κινητό σου. It was the Frequently Asked Questions for Migrants, a podcast by Solidarity Now in collaboration with the UNHCR and pod.gr that gives useful information to refugees and migrants living in Greece. Find the podcast on the Solidarity Now website on pod.gr 
on the UNHCR website at help.unhcr.org, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts from your mobile phone.